welcome to chapter 11 of the beast inside wow what a journey we've experienced so far there are so many amazing exciting and terrifying things that happened already and now in this chapter i think we're going to jump back to being adam because in the previous chapter if you haven't watched that already we were playing as nicholas but right now before jumping into this chapter i'm going to read this okay are you with me guys are you fucking with me i had a brush with death waking up at the bottom of a fucking well next to a corpse what's more i also found some disturbing evidence emma called in a sheriff and in his car i came across proof that nicholas hyde and i come from the same family line i've had enough of these miseries and goddamn mind games i have to finally separate the facts from fantasy Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, get to the surface, kidnapping. Okay. So if you didn't remember, we were actually kidnapped by one of the Russian Soviets or some, some dude. I, I, I can remember that from the previous chapter with the, uh, when we played as Adam. What am I supposed to do with this? I, I, I can't do anything with that. We, we need to find another way, I guess. Swim, Adam, swim. Oh, this is such a panicking moment. Where are we going? Can we lift up the phone? Imagine if you were singing underwater. Oh, we got a gun! We got a gun! And body parts everywhere! Holy fuck! Fucking shit! I wonder who these body parts belongs to. Boom! Shoot that window, let's swim out! So come on, hurry up! Oh, we did it! We did it! We did it! Good job! Good job, you guys! Son of a bitch! I never thought he would do something like that. It's not just the keys and the messages. He wants to get rid of me. Emma, she stayed at home and he's there with her. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Are you sure about that, Adam? But I wonder, what was the Russian spy placing us in the car at the steering wheel and just... placed something on the gas? And making us running out over an edge or something it, it doesn't really make sense it doesn't really make sense it felt like we were driving the car ourselves I, I don't really know if if he would have placed us in the car wouldn't we be like tied up or something I know I, I, I just don't know or am I just speculating too much right now try to stop me then yeah that's right shut the fuck up House, Emma. Just a little more. I can do it. I have to. <laughs> yeah, the house. Don't forget about Emma. She's been all alone throughout the whole game. Don't forget about her. <laughs> it's really right about time starting to think about Emma now. Adam! You smarty pants! So, where the fuck are we right now? Are we far away from home? Oh! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Wait a minute, those are... What's going okay. on? Where is it coming from? They disappeared. Those were the people hanging from the tree in another chapter. I, I, I can't remember them. It's hard to forget their faces. So is that the house? Are we that close, really? Were we really that close to home? Shit! That's a good sign, I guess. Huh? Do we... What the fuck is happening? Oh, it's our brother from another mother. The man with the top hat. 
Oh, you want me to go in? And you disappeared, as always. The only showing up when death is coming, so I get Emma? a bad feeling about it. Emma, this. you're here! Emma! I don't know if you're supposed to go up. Emma! Where are you? Fucking hell. Where is she? Oh, Traces we got some tracks here. Basement. We got some tracks here. Or traces, whatever you want to call them. No, there's blood on the wall. There's blood on the wall. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Okay, what did you do Why to did Emma? You drag her? Our basement. Why? Because he wants to hurt her, maybe? Are we gonna meet the horsey again? The terrifying horsey? What? Where did the horsey go? Was it the horsey that took Emma? I knew it. I knew it all from the beginning. Oh, oh, that's... Okay, I thought about that. When we were at the chapter when we were looking for the missing fuses, I thought about that this wall looked pretty, pretty weird, to be honest. So it's a secret path, of course. They went this way. He knows this house better than I do. Yeah. He knows it better than you do because you're... You're a stupid brain, Adam. Holy fuck. Can I... I should bring this axe. Just by protection, pure protection. But Adam just wants to throw it away. We got some blood trails here as well. Oh, that was a short chapter. <laughs> what the? <laughs> that was the shortest chapter ever. What the fuck? Okay, we're jumping into chapter 12 now. I think this might be the end. I think it might be the end. I can't make heads or tails of this anymore. If that masked man isn't my father, but my father's killer, then who is he? Who harmed all those people? Did my father have another child? A bastard son, whom he kept hidden from the world? It's time to finally rip that mask off his face! Finally! Remove that mask! Remove that mask! Let's do it! I want to see his pretty face. There he is. Who are you? You won't deceive me anymore. We end this today. I end this today. I don't think you're in charge, Adam, because you've fucked up so many times already. So you shouldn't be you shouldn't be too cocky. Let's bring the lantern for for that precious horror feeling, you guys. Okay? I love good old lanterns. Alright, so we are following the man in the mask. I'm gonna find some answers. Oh, there he is. Remove the mask! Remove the mask! Come back here, boy. He's really quick, I must say. I'm really sprinting after his ass, but he's still... He's still ahead. Another creepy place to explore. What are we gonna do? Mr. Masky Man. I'm so curious. I'm so curious. I, I just want to know who he is. I've been waiting for this like the entire game. Or, well, all of us guys has, of course, but... I thought I saw him up there. Can I pick something up? Do, do, do I even need to pick up objects now? I have no idea. It feels kind of unnecessary. Oh, here's the large inn. The hotel. Are we going back in there? Enter the inn. That was the answer. <laughs> Thank you very much for that. Come on, we can grab a drink and talk about this like real men. 
Oh, this doesn't look like the inn anymore. Okay. How is that possible? What's happening to me? You're fucked up, Adam. That's what's happening to you. What if we are, like, mentally insane or something? Either that or these are, like, illusions or something. Uh, Judge we gonna... Martin. Why am I seeing him again? Poor old scoundrel. I never wished you well, Norton. But this... It was him, Jacob. It was him. Who? In the mine. That was also him. I'll get you out of here. And you'll tell me everything. Hold on. This way, quickly. Okie dokie. We're going nowhere. Oh, God damn it. He's back. <laughs> he loves his machete, that's for sure. Come on, let's get in here. Or not. <laughs> I've told you time and time again, you snot. You can't come in here. This is a job for grown men. They go deep underground, drilling and sweating away in the dark to extract the ore from the earth. You only get in their way. Why does it all come back to me? I must, I must get out of here. Yeah, you do. Get out of the mine. So now we're back in the mine again. My favorite place on earth. Oh, Jesus. Which way to go? I wonder if we have the map. Do we still have the map of the mine? No, maybe not. Let, let's just let's just give it a chance. Uh, I'll go that way. Finally, we can use the kerosene lamp. We picked up so much oil, so I'm glad we can use it. <laughs> okay, uh, Jacob or anyone, where did you go, guys? Just trying to seek some answers here. Or are we end up getting lost now? In this lovely old mine. Oh Jesus, that's just great. We can jump down there as well. <laughs> I don't think that's a good idea. I don't think I want to do that yet. Let's see if we can find something by going this way. I just want to explore some first, and then we can take some risks, okay? You know what? What the hell? Let's jump down. Woohoo! Fuck yeah! I think it was the right decision. But what now? What shall we do now? Now we have multiple other ways to go. So that didn't really help me. Let's keep on walking. Wait a minute. We got something here. We got something here. We got a pickaxe. I should be able to try... Pry the hatch open with this somehow and get the hell out of here. The hatch. Are we gonna jump down here first? Woohoo! Yeah, boy! And then... Is that the one we're gonna break? We're gonna those boards come on Adam come on yeah! you can do it 
Yeah. And this one. Let's burn them up. Yeah. <sighs> there we go. Okay. Fuck you, wards. I'm getting the hell out of here. Motherfuckers. Okay. Let's jump down. Here we got a secret path to complete darkness. Just the way I like it. Oh boy, are we back in the inn now? <laughs> this is so cool. This is so cool. Hello? Do you really want to sit in the dark? Do you like breaking rules? Forgive me, Father. It won't happen again. Where to now? Up. So that was Nicholas. Back when he was a kid. He probably had been beaten by his father. Poor guy. A place of torment was found in the basement of Jacob Hyde's house, where not only Norton may have kept, but also others that went missing near Blackstone in the recent years. The suspect's son, Nicholas Hyde, was found in one of the rooms. Okay, where did the text go now? Uh, where are we? However, his mental state did not allow for interrogation. Young Hyde, deprived of contact with the outside world and likely traumatized, was immediately sent to a mental asylum in Providence. The sheriff hopes that, upon a recovery, the young man will be able to reveal where his father is hiding from justice. Okay, 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 okay. So, uh... Nicholas probably had some mental problems. He was probably mental mental ill or mentally unstable or whatever you want to call it. Maybe he had some serial or serious issues or something. I, I I'm not really sure. But okay, we can't go out there. This is this is my office in the house, by the way. I didn't thought about that at first. Jesus Christ, this game. This game is freaking me out. No, wait a minute, wait a minute. How could I forget about that? Nicholas' room is up there. There's a secret path to it. I need to drag this bad boy. Now we're talking. Can't believe I forgot about that. So there we go. Let's go up to Nicholas' room and watch his porn magazines or something. I'll go crazy if you don't let me out. I'm sorry. Don't be sorry, Nicholas. He will be sorry. What? Who's there? We have to help each other. The whole world is against people like us. It's all my fault. No, it's not. It's their fault. And they will pay. Your old man and the others. No, no, no. We cannot think that way. We can do anything. Ever since he said you ruined his life, since he started to lock you up in here, I deserved it. He cheated on her, did you know? And he didn't want her to have you, the most respected son of a bitch in Blackstone. Stop it, you're confusing me. It's time for revenge. First, I will fuck up the mine. What do you say? I know where the old man keeps the dynamite boxes. This way. This is my chance. What? Am I gonna follow? Holy shit! I think he was talking to himself. What is going on? What is going on? You fucking brat! Father, I didn't do it! Stay away from my inn, Nicholas! Don't scare off the guests. Don't steal from the rooms. But I've never, I swear to God. How dare you take his name in vain. You have no God in your heart, you damn little shit. Said a hustler with a heart of shit. It's not just things disappearing in this inn, but the guests too. You were supposed to help me, not get me in trouble. People are trouble. You will see that when you finally open your eyes. Now, it's time for me to open fire! 
Holy shit! Where are we going? Get out of the office! Good idea, good idea, let's get the hell out of the inn! You're back. You knew you couldn't escape punishment. I don't want punishment, father, please! I murdered all those people! John was right! Don't come any closer! Stay away! Let's make a run for it, I, I guess. Is he coming? Oh fuck, let's just go. Let's just go. Come on! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Do it! Fuck! Fuck! Holy shit! Crazy man is coming! Crazy man is coming, but in real life, I'm the one who's crazy. Oh, fuck! What are we gonna do? Climb up! Climb up, Nicholas! Climb up! In one way, I guess you deserve to die, Nicholas. No, you, you don't. You're just mentally insane. Holy shit. Holy shit, he's back! Where should we go? This way! This way! This way! Okay, this way. We're good. We're good. We're all good. Uh, we need to find another way. I, I don't know where. Maybe this way? No, not there. Oh no, we're not good. We need to go up here. Okay. I'm so confused! Oh. Where are we going? Where are we going? Don't know where to go. Where to go? Oh, we have a secret path! Let's go here! Haha! <laughs> I fooled him! I fooled him big time! Holy shit, I think we're close to the exit. I think we're close to the exit. I hope. <laughs> Can we jump out the window or something? Please! Let me get out of here! No! Oh, fuck. We're fucked. We are fucked. Come on! Come on. You can do it, Nicholas. Use your tiny muscles, Nicholas. Yeah. French press, baby. Okay. Let's keep running because he's straight behind us. <laughs> okay. What do we got here? We got a saving point. That's always something. Fuck you, daddy. You're not in charge anymore. You know what? You're not my father anymore. Fuck. Oh shit, where are we going now? Where are we going? Fuck, is there another way or... Oh fuck, here we got something. An axe! An axe! Take it quick! Nicholas! Use it! Use it! No. We were too slow. You have the axe? Come on, you can do it. Quicker! Quicker, Nicholas! Quicker! Go! 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 <laughs> no! I'm pushing the wrong buttons. Come on. Oh, hurry up, please. Hurry up, please. Come on. Come on. Why are you so slow, Nicholas? Come on, will you? Okay, let's keep making a run for it. Here we got a safe room or something, I don't know. Saved by our brother from another mother. Chapter 13? Another chapter already? My father, he has tried to kill me even though he had already died. I know how it might sound, but I'm not out of my mind. It happened for real. The inn, the flames, my father. I felt again like a child whose soul was torn into a million pieces and then stitched back together only to bring the never-ender suffering. I only felt that way when he was close to me, so I was sure it was him again. Now I am in the basement. I have managed to escape and hide here. But... There's no way out of this place, but... Or maybe it is. I can hear some noises behind the wall.
Is this really happening? Yes, it is. Go straight ahead. New objective. <laughs> that was the easiest objective I've had, I, I guess. Straight ahead, but uh, what do you mean with straight ahead? Kidding, of course. All right. What's going on? Where's that voice coming from? Is it a voice inside your head? Or are we facing a fucking evil entity again? Is this happening right now? It doesn't look like our house. Adam! Adam! Emma! I'm coming Emma? for you! Emma, you're here! I thought we were playing as Nicholas first, but we are back to Adam, okay? <laughs> Like things aren't confusing enough already. I must have lost my mind. Oh, the man with the top hat! Where's Emma? Come on, big boy. Oh, we have some pissed off dudes here, and we need to find Emma. Is it real? Or is it just my imagination? I kind, kind of wonder the same thing, Adam. I'm hearing things that don't exist. Are you sure about that? Because you are in hell, so... This might be for real. But it feels like we're having delusions or like hallucinations or something. Here's a mirror. Can I see myself? It's just like... Poke. There's oh. no coming back. Oh, there he is, Mr. Handsome. Finally, we got to see Adam. We got an old mysterious key. This is where it led to. Open up. Hello. Any man with a top hat here? I still want to see who's behind the mask. Here he is. It's over. You can't get away. Hear me. You're not going to get away with it. I know what you did. I followed the trail of your crimes. I've been to all the places you've spilled blood. There's just one thing that remains a mystery. Why? That's beyond my grasp. So many people have died. Speak up. Tell me why. The question is, why did you do it? He heard you, I know. And I opened your eyes and then you saw your father's reflection in every human being. A world full of beasts in human disguises. No one was innocent. Evil was eating at their consciences like a cancer. And who do you think you are to decide if they deserve to die? They certainly didn't deserve to live. They just think about it. Your father's partner, that old truck, desperate to get rid of us. The detective, a vulture feeding on the tragedy of commoners. A miner's <laughs> widow and a vicious bigot who wished everyone all the worst. And last but not least, the judge, a grafter and a regular scoundrel. I've seen worse. Right, your father, a true role model for that small community. I know they were not good people, but what you did to them... I protected us, don't you see? I saved your life. Or maybe you're just a bloodthirsty sadist who looks for guilt in others in order to blot out your own. You know where you would be if it wasn't for me? In that fucking darkness. The old man would be pissing on your grave, and all of fucking Blackstone would still be full of human vermin. Maybe. But that's not an excuse. I don't need one. The choice is simple. You let the vermin spread, and they will take over the world, or you wipe them out, protecting the righteous few. They will call you a lunatic. So what? There must be another way. Like what? 
You'll wash your hands of it all? You'll hide from humanity in a fucking cave? You'll fall back into madness like the last time? You'll tell the doctors you don't remember anything? Really? If you get rid of me, they'll squash you like a bug. You think you can just snap your fingers and I'll be gone? No, because you just chopped up the fingers. What are we gonna do now? Deny the evil personality? Accept to- Oh, we can actually choose ending? Accept the true nature or deny the evil personality? I think we're going for... We live in denial. You will be gone because you depend on me! Your actions were treacherous, you ruined my life and I can't change that! So you'll become another victim. Hopefully the last one. Ah! Holy shit! So did we kill ourselves now or...? How are we doing today? What happened? Why am I in a hospital? Every day the same question. Which is reason enough to keep you here, isn't it? Not to mention all the rest. My, my, my wife, Emma, she... We're talking about you. Please, focus. What if we are mentally Emma insane? And I, we're expecting a baby. And some people are trying to... So far your theories have not been confirmed. Theories? What theories? Concerning what happened in Blackstone, what happened to your wife, and what they have done. But I was there! They took photos of us, planted bugs! I've been asking you for months, but I'll ask you one more time. Who are they? Am I one of them? Months! Did they tell you to brainwash me? They! Soviets, Ruskies, Commies, call them whatever you fucking want. There's a fucking war going on. Who in the service has talked to you? Maybe we could... Wait a minute. Who pays you, motherfucker? GRU? KGB? Maybe this will refresh your memory. I've talked to David. We've got Soviet agents in our ranks. Anyone could be a spy, even a close friend or a family member. So? Shh. Maybe all that she told me was a lie. KGB called those women sparrows. They seduced Americans in order to relay information to the Soviet intelligence. Was I really so blinded by love? She won't admit it, but she won't fool me anymore. I'll do what I have to do. You forged a recording. What have, what have you done to my wife? Tell me, you phony. Who are you really? It's not you asking these questions. It's your illness. Your persecutory delusions make you question everything around you. Holy Try to shit. calm down and answer for yourself. Who are you? Adam or Nicholas, like you said the last time? Who am I talking to right now? Are you crazy? I know I had KGB on my heels. I've destroyed your relays. This isn't a fucking hospital. You want to get hold of the information I've got. That's all you care about. Nurse, the patient's condition's got worse again. Let's apply 400 volts. Yeah, burn him. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Soviets. I killed my wife. I killed her. Jesus Christ. Ah, finally, we're making progress, Adam. Tell me everything once again, from the beginning. About your work and, uh, 
Adam? Adam is gone. Nicholas is back. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Can I know where? <laughs> Building up the wall again. Hiding all the terrible secrets. That's a good plan. That's a good plan. We could have had such a beautiful life. But Adam fucked it up. This war is over. But there will be others. The end? Question mark? So we don't know for sure if this is the end or not? Wow. Wow, 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 wow. This story is so well put together. I don't even know where to begin. I mean, this was all like an illusion. Adam was mentally unstable. He was mentally insane from the first stage. And we killed our own wife, Emma. Everything was just illusions. And our relative Nicholas had the same kind of mental illness, it seems. That was so unexpected. That was so, so unexpected. But wow. This is one of the best indie games I've played so far. And one of the longest ones because it's about must have been like eight or nine hours at least doesn't really matter i really hope that you enjoyed this game and that you have followed me throughout each and every other chapter or each and every one chapter i don't even know what to say anymore it's, it's just i'm just so shocked i don't know if i like the ending or if i find it too sad it was really sad but it was really well put together and uh, as I mentioned, I really enjoyed it. I hope you did it as well. And if you did, please smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that already. And let me know if uh, you want me to do any other full walkthroughs for some other games. Let me know in the comment section below. And till then, I don't know. It's just, I, I just need to recover right now. <laughs> See you in the next one. Bye bye.